Today, we'll talk about the recession, depression, inflation, stagnation, economics concept, which matter. The public is often bombarded with a variety of economic terms, which often, instead of helping the untrained better understand, merely confuses them. How often have we heard terms such as recession, depression, inflation, stagnation, etc., but many have only a limited understanding of what that means. This video will attempt to briefly consider, examine, review, and discuss these four concepts or principles and what they mean and represent. 1. Recession A recession is generally defined as a period of temporary economic or financial decline when trade industrial activities and other economic indicators are identified in at least two consecutive quarters. It is usually reviewed in terms of the gross domestic product or GDP, which measures overall economic performance in a specific nation. Often, the Federal Reserve Bank uses several tools or methods to attempt to enhance activity, including reducing interest rates, etc. 2. Depression when the recession becomes even more severe and endures for a significantly extended period of time, it is often considered a depression. We might witness either a specific component of the economy which is depressed, such as housing, or industry-specific, or an overall one. Nearly everyone is familiar with the period which began in 1929 and extended for several years, which is referred to as the Great Depression. 3. Inflation Inflation is the rate at which a specific or several currency falls and results in an overall rise in most prices of products and services. The usual pattern of the Federal Reserve Bank is to increase the costs of borrowing money, also referred to as interest rates. In most cases, when these increase significantly, many individuals discover their wages do not keep up with the inflation rate. 4. Stagnation when we refer to stagnation in economic or financial terms, it refers to a significant period of little or lack of activity, growth, and or meaningful development. When this occurs for a prolonged period of time, it generally creates a loss of employment possibilities and often more unemployment. Historically, governments use a variety of economic stimuli to strengthen overall economic activity and hopefully restore us to a stronger, better financial condition. And when it comes to money matters, the better off we might be in being prepared for eventualities. Learn as much as you can for your own best interests. And if you like these types of videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.